Should we talk about erections? Well, it's always kind of uppermost on a lot of the questions I'm getting. A lot of them lately. Yeah. Especially on premature ejaculators. That. And uh, what's that about? If you're young and you're having premature ejaculation in your 20s and 30s. You know, it's like the kid we were talking to in the park. Uh, who's cute, Jake. It was, it's, it's, a, they have to go into training. You train your, you train your penis not to come so fast. Talk to it. You create a relationship to it. You make it dance. Let your penis learn how to dance so that when you're getting really excited and you're right in front of it, but Ooh, before back. before you get that, there's that, that a point of no return. Yes. you got to stop right. Now. That's what you have to learn. When you feel that coming on, then you have to stop stimulation. And what you are doing is that you're extending the time of your hot, your ability to, to deal with high arousal. All that stimulation at once. Yeah. In other words, it's like, oh, it feels good. So if you're doing fast jack-offs, <laughs> so you don't get caught in the shower, <laughs> that your penis is trained to, to get excited. To really come. fast. That's a training. Yeah. So the next training is to learn how to sustain high levels of arousal. What about flashlights? What do you think about that? Well, that's perfect because what was it one guy said? Well, my hand is, isn't as exciting as a woman. And so if I learn how to control my mm -hmm. masturbation, it's not going to work when I see a hot woman that I want to have sex with. I'm going to shit. And I said, no, it will work. It will work. It will Because work. the fleshlight is like a vagina, right? So, it, yes. And so, in other words, instead of using the hand, the fleshlight really is like a pussy. It's a simulated vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Guys love it. And Even Eric has one. Yes. And uh, therapists are recommending it for their male clients. I would do one of my vagina. That would be kind of hot. Would you make your own vagina a flashlight? With one dangling lip hanging over the edge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a pity bottle. <laughs> Some guys say contract the, the pelvic floor muscle when you're going to stop from coming, mm -hmm. and the other say, no, 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 I'll come if I do that. So you have to then find out which one which you guy, are. Which guy? Do you like the relaxation and the release? Do you let it go? Or, or you, you tense? And then the other important important, important element is breathing. You either breathe, 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 do your breath of fire or one of your mm -hmm. martial arts breathing patterns and tighten the muscle or breathe, breathe, breathe and release the muscle and then squeeze the muscle and breathe, breathe, breathe or squeeze the muscle and hold your breath. I was holding my breath to see how long I could do it. <laughs> you can hold it quite a while. Now, what about if you can't get an erection? What should you do? Oh, I got this Disabilities, oh, yes, age, yes, whatever yes. it is. This is a diabetes. And that's going to affect a lot of Americans. So, so get the dildo. Get a dildo the size of your dick. Or let, maybe she wants a bigger one. My advice would be to for him to hold it and use it. And so... He, when his, and we did a whole clip on this, partner-assisted masturbation. Fabulous. How a man can use his hands and toys to get his woman off. And it's just, yeah. sometimes that's like better than vaginal penetration. I mean, I like both, but that was pretty good. <laughs> One of my faves. Let's take it easy on the penis. I mean, we love it, and you love it, or maybe you don't love it enough. But liberate your erections.